My name is Sonia Clark. I'm an artist and a professor at Virginia Commonwealth University, and I'm happy to be here in Indiana today to be giving a lecture here at the Alexander, which um, has my artwork. Um, so I'm looking forward to having the Indianapolis community come out so we can talk about art, hair, and Madam C.J. Um, for a long time as an artist, I've been an artist for about 20 years, and for a long time I brought together the idea of hair and hairdressing and textiles as being one and the same. So we're going to be talking about textiles as, important, as they are important to the American and African American community, hair as it's important to the African American and African diasporic community, um, and bringing those two things together. Though. So that brings it down a little bit closer. But there's a lot of range in there, which is why I've been making work for 20 years. Okay. Um, I, think, I think most of us actually start as artists, and then we're dissuaded from it. Um, I was just lucky that the little turn that I took away from art, I eventually came back to it. So um, I was lucky enough to have uh, teachers like Nick Cave, if you know who Nick Cave is, um, as a friend as a, and a mentor when I was at the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, and then I just stuck with it. I made a piece um, honoring Madam C.J. Walker, actually the image of her that's probably more familiar to people than one that was on the 32 cent black heritage stamp several years ago when stamps were 32 cents. <laughs> so that was a while ago. Um, and that was for um, a grand reopening of a museum in New York, the Museum of Arts and Design, um, in 2008. And um, Buckingham and um, Lisa Fryman and the Indianapolis Museum of Art were aware of that piece, so they came to me and asked me if I would be willing to do a commission for this space because Madam C.J. Walker is so important to the Indianapolis community. All of America, all of American history, but of course Indianapolis as well. And so I picked the second most famous image of her, which is this one here, and depicted it in the tools of the trade which are fine tooth combs. So there are about um, 3,800 combs in the piece that comprise the portrait. And I should also say that um, I got to know a lot more about Adam C.J. Walker because I had the privilege of meeting um, Alilia Bundles, who was a dear friend of mine and who wrote um, on her own brow an autobiography, an autobiography of her great-grandmother, Adam C.J. Walker. Um, so it's been my privilege making work about famous black women, um, this famous black woman in particular because I'm interested in hair and hairstyling and thinking about how that legacy has come forward in the arts of hairdressing in this contemporary time. I think um, it's sort of wonderful in this space because, and also in the museum, it's shown as several, the, I should say, the first one, the first Adam C.J. Walker show in several museums. This one has only been in this space because I made it for this space. Um, the other one, um, a couple of things happen. People, if you approach the work from a distance, you see the portrait first. And maybe you'll say, well, who is that? And then you'll go up to see the label to see who is that. And then as you approach the work, you say, oh my gosh, it's made out of combs. And so there's something inherent in what it's made out of that tells you a little bit about the history of Adam C. J. Walker. Um, so using materials that already have a legacy to talk about her legacy. It's a little bit more complicated than that, because as you know, these are black fine tooth combs not intended for the kind of hair that you and I grow, right? So that gets into some other backstory, which I'll be talking about this evening, as to why I use fine tooth combs in particular. So I'm going to be speaking about my work tonight at 7 o'clock here at the Alexander. I hope you'll come. I'm looking forward to your questions and getting to know the Indianapolis community. I was here 15 years ago to have a show at, um, at the Indianapolis Museum of Art, so it's my pleasure to be back. I want you guys to come out. Let's get to know each other. Let's talk about Madam C.J. Walker. Let's talk about our hair. Um, come be a part of the conversation.